Jesus. Our lesson for today is about harmonic means. The learning objectives for today are you are expected to determine the arithmetic means and find the harmonic means of the given sequence. And what do you mean by harmonic means? They are terms in between two terms of a harmonic sequence. A harmonic mean is a reciprocal of the arithmetic mean of the given sequence. Let us have an example. Insert a harmonic mean between 1 fifth and 1 over 13. First, you have to find the arithmetic mean of the denominators of 1 fifth and 13. So we have 5 and 13. Next, identify the first term, which is 5. The third term is 13, so the missing is the second term, which is the arithmetic mean. And then, if you can still recall, to find the arithmetic mean given two terms, we have the formula a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 3 over 2. So all you have to do is to add the two numbers, 5 and 13 over 2. So 5 plus 13 is 18 divided by 2. The answer is 9. So the second term is 9, meaning the arithmetic mean is 9. All you have to do is to get the reciprocal form of each term. So take the reciprocal of 5, 9, and 13. So the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. The reciprocal of 13 is 1 over 13. And what is the reciprocal of 9? It's 1 over 9. The harmonic mean is 1 over 9. Next example. Insert three harmonic means between negative 1 half and 1 over 18. This would be the harmonic sequence. Negative one half. Then you insert three harmonic means. And the last term is one over 18. So what will you do is to find the arithmetic means. So you have to look at the denominators. You can use negative two. And the other one for the fifth term, 18. So in finding the arithmetic means, identify the denominator. The denominator is negative 2. And the fifth term is 18. Then we need to find a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So a sub 1 again is negative 2. a sub 5 is 18. And n is equal to 5 because there are 5 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we need to find the common difference represented by D. So you can use the alternative formula in finding the common difference. You can have this. D is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 over n minus 1. Then... Just substitute a sub n is 18 minus the first term, negative 2, over 5 minus 1. G is equal to 20. So, 18 negative times negative is positive. So, plus 2 plus 20. 5 minus 1 is 4. Therefore, D is equal to 5. But then, if you would like to use the usual way in finding the common difference, you can use the original formula. And then, let's continue. 
the value of the common difference is 5. So, this is now the terms of the given sequence wherein we need to insert three arithmetic means. So, we need to find the arithmetic means for a sub 2, that is equal to negative 2 plus the common difference 5, which is equal to 3. For the third term, is equal to 3 plus d, which is 5, equals 8. And a sub 4 is equal to 8 plus 5 equals 30. So, we have to get the reciprocals of the arithmetic means later. Therefore, you have the first term negative 1 half. So, the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. Reciprocal of 8 is 1 eighth. And what is the reciprocal of 13? It's 1 over 13. Therefore, the harmonic means are 1 third, 1 over 8, and 1 over 13. Do you have questions? If there is none, let's proceed. Let us have another example. Insert 5 harmonic means between 1 fourth and 1 over 22. So, this will be the form of the harmonic sequence started with 1 fourth then you will insert 5 harmonic means 1 2 3 4 5 and the last term is 1 over 22 so first you need to find the arithmetic means so the first term look at the denominator it's 4 and the denominator of the last term is 22 that is also the last term of the arithmetic sequence. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the first term is 4. The seventh term is 22. So, n is equal to 7. We need to find d. So, using the alternative formula for the common difference, then we have d is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 over n minus 1. So, a sub n is 22. a sub 1 is 4. So, 22 minus 4 over n is 7 minus 1. So, d is equal to 18 over 6. Wherein, the value of d is 3. Since the common difference is 3, then we will add the common difference to the first term, which is 4, in order to find the arithmetic means. So, a sub 2 is equal to first term plus the common difference 3 equals 7. So a sub 3 is equal to 7 plus 3 equals 10. a sub 4 is equal to 10 plus 3 equals 13. a sub 5 is equal to 13 plus 3 equals 16. And a sub 6 is equal to 16 plus 3 equals 19. So again, you have to get the reciprocals of the arithmetic means. So these are the arithmetic means. a sub 2 is 7. a sub 3 is 10. a sub 4 is 13. a sub 5 is 16. And a sub 6 is 19. Therefore, next to 1 fourth is 1 over 7. Next to 1 over 7 is 1 over 10. Next is 1 over 13. Next is 1 over 16. Next is 1 over 19. And there you have inserted 5 harmonic means. Therefore, the harmonic means are 1 over 7, 1 over 10, 1 over 13, 1 over 16, and 1 over 19. Do you have questions? If there is none, thank you. See you next time. Bye!